Aha, uh -huh. this is question number 9, 2012 KCSE Mathematics Paper 1. We are told given that O is equals 2i plus 3j and uh, OB is equals to 3i minus 2j, find the magnitude of AB to one decimal place. So this question is from vectors, uh, I think which you covered in form 2, uh, vectors 1, before you are introduced to vectors 2. Uh, so we need to know we need, this uh, OA is a position vector OB is a position vector you know I I'm going to use the wrong method uh, so that you can understand how we arrive to the answer I is the same as the position the position vector 1 0 uh, J is equals to 0 1 so th these are the vectors represented by I and J uh, unit vectors so we can write OA is equals to 2 we substitute to 1 0 uh, then we add uh, thre 3 we substitute to 0 1 which you'll be able to get uh, 2 0 and uh, plus 0 3 that is you multiply the coefficient with the vectors uh, here you have multiplied 2 times 1 is, is 2 uh, 2 times 0 is 0 3 times 0 is 0 3 times uh, 1 is 3, which should be able to get 2 plus 0 is 2, and 0 plus 3 is, so that is a position vector. We do the same, although you don't need all these steps, but uh, let's just follow the procedure. Uh, OB, we do the same, it is 2, uh, not uh, rather 3, uh, this is uh, 1, 0, uh, minus 2, uh, 0 1 so we multiply 3 times 1 there you get 3 0 3 times 0 is 0 uh, minus 2 times 0 that you give us or you can just forget about uh, the minus you just multiply 2 times 0 that will give you 0 2 times 1 is 2 you put the bracket which is 3 minus 0 is uh, 3 uh, 0 minus 2 will give you minus 2 so that is our OB uh, to be able to to get a b a b so we can demonstrate this and say these are like two points a and b and this is the origin so this is our no we can use a dotted line there so this is our o the start the origin and this is our b uh, this is our o b other than that uh, so to get a b a B is the same as saying uh, moving from A to B uh, this is the direction of A this is the di O B A O A this is the direction O B so you move against the direction of vector O A so it is equals to minus O A because we are moving against the di its direction plus and the positive direction of O B so O, o B rather uh, O B which is equals to O B minus O A, but we already have our O B here. It is equals to three minus two, uh, and uh, minus uh, three. This is uh, not three, but two and three. So you subtract, and you'll be able to get two minus uh, three minus two is one. Uh, minus two minus three that will give you minus five. So that's our vector. Our vector A B is equals to. Uh, 1 minus 5 now to get the magnitude of that vector no matter what we say if you are given uh, a vector like uh, pq is equals to x and y uh, the magnitude of pq is equals to the square root of x squared plus y squared you did that in form 2 when you are learning how to get the magnitude of a vector so it means we use those two this, that symbol to demonstrate the, um, the magnitude a b is equal to now we say it is a square root of 1 squared plus uh, minus 5 uh, squared so this is equal to the square root of uh, 1 squared is the same as uh, 1 minus 5 squared is 25 so that will give you 26 use your calculator uh, to get the square root of 26 uh, which you get uh, a square root of 26 
you get it is 5.099019 so 5.5.099 because we are told to one decimal place so you say it is five round off here uh, right to one decimal place 5.1 centimeter and this is to one decimal place so that's how you get uh, the, the the magnitude of the vector a b although during uh, the exam to save time you don't need to go those these steps as long as you understand the what i and j represent you can just write the o a directly to that o b directly to three minus two uh you you just work it out so that you save time but for the sake of explanation how to go about it uh, i thought it is okay that we go through that uh, whole process so that's how you do that you'll be able to get three marks